Hi, my name is uh, Devlin Brown and I'm the PR manager for Revo. Um, a big welcome to you for joining us for the launch of our latest product that's fresh out of the docks, that being the second life R100 battery. But before we get into details on the actual specs of the batteries, I want to tell you a little bit about second life and what it means. A few decades ago, the mass rollout of electric vehicles may have been a pipe dream, but with various European cities setting near-term deadlines and the phasing out of fossil fuel combustion engines, there's no turning back the clock. Our planet depends on it. Shenzhen in China leads the charge, with nearly its entire taxi and bus fleet having been converted to electric vehicles. In addition to that, by last year, over 60,000 light vehicles, or 35% of the government's fleet, were electric. Now, the ramifications of this for the global trade system are obviously highly complex and worth many billions of dollars. However, despite denialists' fervent objections, the global warming evidence continues to stack up and that in order to safeguard our planet, there can be no further delays in pursuing clean or green mobility and important power. Uh, at the same time, wind and solar power continue to become more affordable and efficient. And South Africa's government recently reaffirmed its commitment to renewable energy being an important part of the country's energy mix over the medium and long term. EV lithium ion batteries are replaced after a few years in the vehicle when the output of the battery cannot justify its weight in the vehicle. At this point, the battery is replaced with a new one. Now, various estimates and industry experts had predicted that by this year, China would produce 500,000 metric tons of used lithium ion batteries. By 2030, they say, this number will reach 2 million metric tons. Now, most of these will end up in landfills. As demand for the ingredients that makes these batteries surges, mines need to keep up and extract these materials from the earth. You know, and our ability to dispose of these used batteries or recycle them has not kept pace. You know, it's a bit of irony that an advancement in technology, one that should be celebrated for its low emission, green motivation, should itself become a culprit in producing waste that's harmful to the planet. However, there is a critical fact about used EV batteries themselves that holds the key to two environmental questions. First, what can we do to keep used EV batteries out of landfills? And then, how can we provide energy storage with lithium ion performance without providing further strain on the environment? The answer lies in repurposing old EV batteries for stationary energy storage. That's what Rebar have built their business on, repurposing better quality auto-grade batteries for a second life of stationary storage for uninterrupted power, that's UPS supply systems, or backup to provide constant power from renewable energy sources, where weight does not matter. And the next obvious question is whether the used batteries are subpar, meaning repurposing the cells for station storage is simply a case of transporting waste from one place to the other. The answer is unequivocal. Used EV lithium ion batteries have at least a further 3,500 to 5,000 cycles in them, providing a lifespan of about 10 to 15 years, all the while exploiting the performance of lithium ion, but at a significantly reduced cost. Automotive cells are built to tolerate higher temperatures during an operation before damage starts occurring. This higher temperature tolerance allows higher discharge currents, and this is significantly higher than batteries built for storage. Limiting discharge in the repurposed batteries translates for longer battery life. The obvious ramifications of repurposing these EV batteries and giving them a second life is that it gives our planet a breather. You know, instead of competing with the EV sector for raw materials to build new batteries, Repurposing the tons of existing used batteries takes pressure of mine activities and the subsequent supply chains, all of which carry a heavy carbon burden. Second life batteries are the energy 
what recycling is to household and business consumption. A sustainable alternative to give our planet a breathing chance. The Revo First Life and Second Life batteries all come equipped in the 16 cell uh, configuration, which is a slight variation to the affordable uh, lithium per phosphate batteries, which are in the 15 cell configuration. That 15 cell, 16 cell configuration gives you a slightly higher voltage window, which means you can handle. Uh, slightly higher power for the same current and you have a, a, a better high power performance and a better temperature distribution. Um, the cells in our batteries are all automotive grade and automotive grade is the highest grade you can get for lithium uh, uh, battery cells. The uh, automotive grade is based on a cell that is supposed to be highly in and reliability and therefore has a better vibration and temperature tolerance and can handle uh, higher uh, charge and discharge rates and still come back clicking. Um, the result is that we actually uh, offer a 3,500 cycle and a 10 year warranty on the shelf and that is whether it is a, a life or a second life uh, product. Warren, can you tell us a bit more about the features of the R100? Devlin, yes. With the new R100 we've received now, um, it comes integrated with the bus, so it can talk directly to your compatible inverters that uh, will talk with our battery directly. Um, also, it has the built-in BMS. Together with that, the smart LCD display on the battery itself, you can see your cell um, capacity, you can see your cycle counts um, together with your temperatures on your cells, which is quite a nice feature. Sure, that's incredible. Thanks, Warren. Um, look, I mean, if I understand everything here and, and if I understand the application correctly, um, you can start an energy store project for a home with just one of these batteries. Correct, Devlin, yes. Um, if you start a small backup um, system in your house, it's best to go with one of these. You've got integration with your cameras, as I mentioned, into a inverter. It's an easy installation. And um, as you grow your solar power and see what your requirements are, you can easily add more R100s or add to your solar for charging the battery itself. As an installer, and how many of these can we connect in parallel? You could do 16 of these, either through comms or standalone, as an absolute maximum on the system. Wow, thank you. Um, and then, Dale, I also wanted to ask this battery is pre configured with optimal parameters in place. Um, can you tell us a bit about the built in protection for the R1? Yeah, sure. So, with our lovely little unit over here, it comes with an array of protection ranging from overcurrents, temperature, 
under voltages, over voltages, cycling counts, as well as balancing all of its cells internally. So for all intents and purposes, it is an extremely well contained little unit. Brilliant. Um, now, excuse me if this is a little obvious, but I understand that an average household needs 10 kilowatt hours for what's described as critical load. You know, your basic plug points, Wi-Fi, lights and so on. Now, I realize that a critical load doesn't include, you know, your, your geysers and your stoves, but how does one work around this with the average household DB board? Well, for starters, Devon, you're going to have to sit with your install as an end user. You're going to start going through your plugs, lights, so on and so forth, and try and remove as much of your excess loads, such as geysers and stoves, as possible to start. However, should you choose to grow later on, whether it be via extra storage, some solar, you can at least then bring those back into the Fantastic. Um, so what types of inverters are compatible with the R100? Our R100 is practically compatible with every inverter off the shelf. For the ones that rely purely on voltages to the ones that rely on CAD, we're compatible. Okay, and then what fuses are needed to be within warranty? Within warranty, depending on the purpose of the unit, should it pick up or carry a fixed load, that doesn't vary, you can rate the fuse for the same 1C rating of the battery with the liver, which is 100 amps. Should it be more of a UPS, a domestic UPS, we strongly recommend 63 amps to 80 amps. Okay, and, and then if the battery does switch off due to low or under voltage, um, does it automatically switch back on when there's a charge voltage from solar or SDOM? Yes, it will. It won't pick up immediately. It will wait until it now realizes that that charge, the potential charge, is stable, uninterrupted, and not going to drop moving forward, which then alleviates strain on its internal circuitry as well as the external, such as your inverters. Brilliant. Thank you, Dave. Um, I'd like to uh, take the opportunity to thank the technical team from Rebar. Thank you very much, guys. Very insightful. Um, now we're going to hand over to John Snow, who's the Rebar uh, National Sales Manager. So much, Devlin. For those of you who haven't met me, I'm John Snow. I'm the Sales Manager at Rebar Batteries. The team at Rebar are particularly excited about the application of our new R100 battery. Let me tell you why. The value for money derived from the more competitive price of the second life cells and the electric vehicle spec on these batteries mean we are getting the best quality battery cells at a very reasonable price, which is backed up with our 3,500 cycle or 10 year warranty. We are most impressed with the incorporation of CAN bus interface which will allow for easy plug and play installations and communications with all major brands of inverters. Having spent a lot of time in the field with you as installers and wholesalers, I really believe that we have found the solution that will be widely accepted in the market and we see this product giving an opportunity for even more South Africans to benefit from lithium ion batteries in their solar and backup installations. Our great team of experienced sales consultants are available to assist installers and wholesalers with all their pricing, marketing and training needs on this product. So if you are as excited as I am about this product, please call us on 010-035-6061 or call Tammy at inquiries at revolve.co.za.